Hey everyone, it's Jenny. I'm back with a haul. <laughs> and you're going to be so excited. Well, if you like Doodlebug, you'll be excited. So I um, am so happy that Frank Garcia carries Doodlebug because I just got my order in. And so I think a lot of us crafty folks are very happy to see Doodlebug come out with a crafty theme um, collection. And so... I I, put, I placed an order with three craft chicks, so I'm still waiting for that order, and that was a pre-order. Um, and anyway, so I, um, but I know <laughs> that as soon as I place an order with Frank, that I'll get it like within a week. So that's what happened. Um, I was so happy to see the announcement come up on my email, and I saw Anna, who is Serenity the Creations, um, do a walkthrough of Frank's studio to show you like what all the new stuff was, and I was dying because she was showing all the new doodle bug. So anyway, I had to place my order, and I got it today. So and it was supposed to actually come tomorrow, which is Friday. So I was super excited that it came today, but. Anyway, so let me just show you what I got. So, um, nowadays I hardly buy the the whole collection pack because I I like having two pieces of each paper, and that's just so I can play around with it more. And if I like both sides, then I have the option of using one for one side, one for the other side. Um, and so they only give you like one sheet of each in the collection. So. Because I'm going to just do that anyway. I'm like, I'm not going to buy the collection. And I'm just going to buy two sheets of each. So I did that. And then I also um, got some of the ephemera. Which I'll show, I'll show you. And I got a lot of the doodle pops. Because I thought they were super adorable. And um, yeah. So I think the only thing that I really didn't get. I'm going to have duplicates when I get my three craft chicks order. But I don't mind because I know I'm going to use it. Um, I think the only thing that I got through them that I didn't get through Frank because he didn't have it um, was the stamp set. So anyway, that's fine. I can deal without that for, for right now. Um, so anyway, this is what I got. So I did. I do like to get these. Um, it's the, what is it called? Like the Petite Prince or something like that. Yeah, Petite Print Assortment. And this one is made to coordinate with the colors in this collection. So I usually pick up a set of that. And it comes with 12 double-sided cardstock. Um, I do like the fact that you get a mixture of ginghams and polka dots and stripes and all that stuff. Um, so I usually use those a lot. Um, because sometimes the papers itself is very busy. So depending on what your project is, sometimes it's hard to use. So I do gravitate to the petite prints a lot. Okay, so let's look at um let's look at the paper first. So, like I said, I got two of each print. So here's a new plaid, and it has really cute hearts on the back. And then this is I never know what to do with this page, but I just get it anyway. Because sometimes I I do cut the strips, but not often. But I look how adorable these little um these little jars are. I just love that. Okay, and then here's the back, which is the flowers. I really like this colored pencils. I think they're so cute. And then you have the, um, sorry, trying to focus. Um, I really love this kind of folder paper. And I think they had this before with the rainbow stripes. Um, I want to say I used to use it a lot um, when I make calendars for um, craft fairs. But I think I depleted my whole supply. So I'm glad to see that the print came back. So I will likely purchase more later on um, as I use these up. And then this is the print that's like, it's very busy, but it's so adorable because it has all the little um, crafty items. Sorry, my camera keeps not focusing. So it's so cute. Oh my God, I love all of it. And we'll, we'll look at the FM a little bit closer. This reminds me of like a craft mat. And I think that's what they were, the look that they were going for. And then all of these words on this one is all like craft related. So um, and then the back, oops, the back is actually these types, which I probably will not use. I usually don't use these. Um, it's good if you're into like traveler's notebooks and stuff, but I probably will use that a lot. And I got this one, which is the, the sewing machine and all the sewing supplies. And then the back is the stitching, which is adorable. Oh, my camera keeps like not focusing. Or is it just my eyes? Maybe it's my eyes. 
This is a washi tape looking one. And I I want to say they had something like this before um, a long time ago, but I can't remember what collection that was. And then there's pink polka dots on the back. This I think is new. It really reminds, I know it's splatter, but it reminds me of a jawbreaker. Doesn't it look like a jawbreaker? And then this is the back. And these are just adorable. Look at all these cut aparts. Oh my gosh. They're so cute. They're so cute. Oh my god, this glue gun is like killing me right now. I love that. I love all of them, but there's some that I just gravitate to more than others. And then this plaid is so pretty. I think my daughter had a dress that looked like that when she was young. And then here's another plaid and some buttons. And then here's a bold rainbow stripe with some hearts on the back. And then here's more cut aparts, but these are a little bit bigger ones. They're so cute. Oh my god, this bag is like killing me. It's so cute. And then flowers, of course. So that is the paper collection. Um, so I'm super excited that I can start crafting with that. I know um, Christian just announced um, Christmas in July, which I do want to do, but um, I'm not sure how I'm going to factor in. Because now I just got the collection, so I'm like all excited about that. Okay, so the other things that I got, I really love the the cardstock stickers. I usually always get that. And they have really cute um, images. I just love the glue gun and the bag. Those are one of my favorites, I think. But these are so cute, too. Look, it's, they made their own odds and ends into a sticker. And then even, like, their washi and the sprinkle is so adorable. Oh, my God. This is, like, made for us, you guys. It's so cute. Okay, and then, um, okay, so let's show you these. I did get a bunch of Doodle Pops, which I don't always get because they're kind of expensive, but I'm like, I just need, I just need to look at it. I don't even know if I'm going to use it. Okay, so this one is like mini Doodle Pops. Look how cute. It's like a Doodle Pop of a Doodle Pop. How cute is that? Oh my God, I'm dying. Okay, and then it also has the sprinkles, which they're not really like raised, so... I'm thinking you could like go over it with like glossy accents or something to make it look more like the actual sprinkles. Anyway, it's not focusing very well, is it? Hmm. Sorry about that. And then I got the cute little sewing machine. I totally want to make Christian's sewing machine look like this. What do you guys think? It's easy. It's just blue, right? So cute. Okay, and here's a cute craft bag. Dying. And then of course you need like snacks right <laughs> i was watch um natalie and anna's swaps and they always include a treat and it's so fun. it's so awesome i always include food in my swaps too like it's rare that i don't it's, if i don't it's usually because it didn't fit in the bag or the box okay and then i love these they have like little jars and then one is actually filled with glitter and one is filled with sequins you know i want to make this right like on my own Oh my god, dying. And then here's a glue gun and, and some scissors. So I kind of splurged a lot on the Doodle Pops, which I don't normally do, but I just I couldn't help myself because I just want to look at them. Like, I don't really, I'm like afraid to use it. Like, I want to still have it. I know you guys think that's in there too, right? Like. Okay, and then the other one that's, um, that I always get nowadays is the Chit Chat which I love because um, it makes it so much easier to do a project. I will try to take out all the shadows. Um, but I love the fact that um, it comes with like pre-made sentiments that I don't have to bust out my stamp set to um, to make stuff. And it's all on colored cardstock usually. And it matches, you know, the whole collection. So, so anyway, those are all the ones that you're going to get if you order that. Oh my God stick together these are so adorable you guys my lighting sucks right now because it's super dark outside okay and then this is the other thing i'm like dying for let's focus so you can see look how cute they made their own odds and ends ephemera oh my god i'm dying it's the odds and ends of odds and ends <laughs> Love it. and then here's like your beading tools so it's like it's like all kinds of crafts you guys it's not only paper crafts, it's like the beading stuff, it's scrapbooking, it's traveler's notebooks, it's like whatever you can think of. Okay, and here's the back. So I'm sure Christian is going to like open it up and show you guys everything. But So you get all the paints, 
even look even a die cutting machine it looks like the um old cuddle bug looking ones are revolution and then there's all the doodle pop oh my god they're so adorable i cannot handle it oh my gosh so i okay so the other thing i did while i was waiting oh my god look there's copics so the other thing i did was i um i had seen um lori whitlock's site um she had a sale and um, if anybody's gonna have the doodlebug images early it'll be her site and so you can actually purchase the the cut files from her but you can also do print and cut if you have the cricket so oh sorry it's totally blurry <laughs> So, um, just before I was able to order this, I went on her site because I'm like, I got to get something now. So, I ordered it, but of course, I didn't try work doing anything because it's on a machine. Um, and it was like 30% off of your whole purchase. So, I was able to get um, almost all of the collection. There were some things that I didn't get, but I got a, a good chunk of it. And so, I finally use my Cricut and I um and I I took it off my shelf I dusted it off and I was telling Natalie that I followed her tutorial um to print and cut it so um I did print it on my laser printer and then she shows you on her um thing how to cut it out so I love the fact that it'll cut out the holes in the um scissors and stuff the only hole it didn't cut out was there but it's fine I'm still happy with it so that is an easier way to make your own ephemera instead of um, making like, cause I was looking at it, I'm like, oh my God, if I were to cut every single piece out, it would drive me crazy. So I'm like, rather than do that, I think I'm gonna just try her print and cut way of doing it. And I'm just as happy with it. So that's like a game changer for me to be able to use um, the cut files in that way. So I think I'm gonna spend some time and get to know my Cricut a little bit better. So thanks Natalie for that tutorial because now I feel like um, I can like actually use a lot of the stuff that I buy. Um, the other ones that I've been buying but haven't cut yet is uh, they have a lot of Hello Kitty or Sanrio kind of stuff. And I've always wanted, I have the Hello Kitty cartridges but I've always wanted Sanrio files like Little Twin Stars and My Melody and the other characters. And I saw DM cut some ice creams out of it, and I'm like dying to try that too. So I have to get to know my Cricut and how to use it better. But I just wanted to share all of this fun stuff that came in. So hopefully you will also be excited as I am in these collections. And um, and maybe we can make stuff together, right? So I'm um, looking forward to playing with that. And I do have some other things that have been coming in that I will do a new video for I just wanted to I was so excited to share this so um, I will get this up uh, uploaded soon and then I will work on um, my next haul okay I'll talk to you guys in the next video bye